guys, it's Alicia and I'm back again with another simple easy recipe for you. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to make bubble up pizza. Now I first found this recipe when I was doing Weight Watchers and it is a Weight Watchers recipe um, but I have tweaked it through the years and changed you know just a few things and kind of made it my own um, but it is still very much Weight Watcher friendly. Um, and even though we don't do Weight Watchers anymore, I still have quite a few recipes that I, that I still like to make from back when I did do it because a lot of recipes from Weight Watchers are actually really, really good. And this is one of them. So let me go ahead and show you how I make my version of Bubble Up Pizza. First thing you wanna do before anything is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And then, I will show you what's going to go in this. You're going to need a pound of ground beef. You could also use ground turkey, um, whatever you want for that. Then you're going to need one and a quarter cups part skim mozzarella. You're going to need a 15 ounce container of refrigerated biscuits, 16 ounces of a pasta sauce, spaghetti sauce, um, tomato sauce, any, anything that you want to use. This is actually 24 ounces um, and I'll probably end up using all of this instead of the 16 ounces just because I don't want it to go to waste and it'll make it a little bit a little bit maybe soupier than it would normally be, but I'm okay with that. But normally you want to use around 16 ounces. And then as for veggies, I've got about 14 ounces of mushrooms here. We really like mushrooms, that's why I've got so many. Um, probably a more normal amount would be about eight ounces. Um, I've got a bell pepper sliced up here and a medium red onion chopped and then I'm gonna add a can of chopped olives also now as far as what you want to put in this for veggies you can do anything you want um, anything that sounds good to you this is just kind of my go-to ones that I usually use but I have used different things in the past too it's kind of just like what what veggies I have on hand that I will throw in there. Okay, on to the seasonings. This again is sort of a personal preference type of thing. I'm using a teaspoon each of oregano, basil, and onion powder. Now you can use more, you can use less, you can use different types of spices, whatever uh, sounds good to you, but that's what I usually use. And then I've got about three teaspoons of minced garlic here. Um, or you can use three cloves of garlic chopped up. And then lastly, I've got some ground pepper. Um, you can use salt if you want. I, I don't. Um, and then to brown my, my hamburger meat, I'm going to use a little olive oil in the pan so that it doesn't stick because I'm using a lean hamburger. Uh, but you could use any type of oil you want if you're using a lean burger. And if you're not using lean burger, you most likely don't need to put any type of oil in there because it's probably not going to stick um, if it has a higher fat content. Okay, so that's it for the ingredients. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the first step in making this. Okay, I went ahead and put a couple tablespoons of the olive oil in here. And I've got my burner set to about medium high. And I'm going to first throw in my hamburger. Break that up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to dump in my veggies. And again, 
and that is like way more uh, mushrooms than what a normal person would put in there, but that's just what we like. And once they cook, they will uh, shrink down quite a bit too. My onion. And my bell pepper. Stir that a little bit. There's not a whole lot of room in there right now. Throw some of it on the floor, you know. Okay, now I'm going to grind a little pepper on. Not a whole lot. I don't know, probably equals about a quarter teaspoon. And then I'm going to just let this kind of cook and do its thing. Again, on medium heat or medium high heat. And I will be back once the ground beef is browned and my veggies have uh, cooked and shrunk up a little bit. And while my meat is cooking, I am chopping up these biscuits. And what I'm doing is just chopping each one of these into about six pieces. Um, so you can make them smaller or bigger if you want. But for me, um, chopping them into sixths uh, is a pretty good size. As you can see, um, the meat's all browned. The veggies have seriously shrunk down. I'm going to add in my garlic real quick. Mix that around. Let that cook for just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients. So I'm gonna start with my olives. And these are chopped. I wanted sliced, but it seems like every time I go to the store, um, I either can't find the slice, they're out, something. So I keep ending up with these chopped, which are fine, but I prefer the sliced. Now I'm gonna pour my pasta sauce in there. And I'm going to add my seasonings and then stir. Okay, that's all stirred up. I'm gonna just let that sit there for a minute while I prepare my baking pan. And what you're gonna wanna use is just like a 13 by nine casserole dish like I have here. Then you're gonna wanna just spray it with a little cooking spray so the stuff does not stick. And now I will take you back to the beef mixture over here. Now you just wanna turn your heat off and then you're going to add your uh, cut up biscuits. Just kinda toss them in there. And they like to stick together, so which is not that big of a deal because they will come apart once you start stirring it up. And so then you're gonna just stir this all together. Okay, I've got it all stirred together. Now the next step is to pour it into my casserole dish. Get it all out. And then we're gonna just smooth this in here. Next, we're going to put this in the preheated oven for about 25 minutes. And then at that point, we'll take it out and put the mozzarella on the top of it and cook it for another 10 minutes. So I will be back in about 25 minutes. Okay, it's been 25 minutes and I've just pulled this out of the oven. Now the next step is to put your mozzarella cheese on top of it. So I'll do that real quick. Okay, and then you're gonna just put this back in the oven for about 10 minutes or until the cheese is melted. Okay, it's been in there for another 10 minutes 
and this is what it looks like now. So I went ahead and pulled it out of the oven and I will put some on a plate. Okay, and here it is, plated up. Like I said before, this is a Weight Watcher recipe, um, but when we did Weight Watchers, that was back in the points plus days, and I think it was like eight points per uh, serving if you cut it into, I believe, six servings. Anyway, this, this recipe is absolutely delicious. It's cheesy, ooey gooey goodness, and uh, I hope you try it. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.